Okay, today we're working on an 03 F-150 4.6 liter two-wheel drive. We're going to be doing front pads and rotors and also repacking the wheel bearings. These are the tools that you're going to need for the front. You're going to need a hammer. Then you're going to need a half inch ratchet with an 18 millimeter socket. Then you're going to need a 3 8 ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket. You're going to need a pair of channel locks. Also a pair of Nipex or Dykes. And then this tool here is actually a double piston caliper compressor tool, which we actually sell here on the website. Uh, it's a very good tool, it makes the job a lot easier. First thing we want to do is break these two 13 millimeter bolts loose on the back side to hold the caliper to the caliper bracket. For this, you'll be using the 3 8 ratchet with the 13 millimeter socket. After getting the bolts out, just kind of set them aside. You don't want to lose these. And then just take the caliper off like that. And the pad should fall right out. Be careful with the caliper now because you have rubber hoses that hold these together. Or which give you the brake fluid to the caliper. And you don't want to damage them, so just kind of place it somewhere to where it's not actually hanging. From here, next thing we want to do is take the uh, caliper bracket bolts loose from the steering knuckle itself, which is located in the back here. 18 millimeter bolt is what it is. For this, you're probably going to want to use your half inch ratchet, get a little bit more torque on it. Just give it a good whack and it should come right loose. A lot of the newer Fords and GMs use thread lock on the threads of these bolts, so most of the time they are pretty tight. Okay, once you have the bracket off, what you want to do is there's these metal clips that actually hold the pad into place. A lot of times they get a lot of brake dust and rust on them. You want to clean those up really good because a lot of times people will do brake jobs and after doing them you hear a lot of noise. A lot of the time that's where that's coming from. Now you're probably not going to get all of this stuff off there. The main goal is to get as much as possible. Now you want to grab the bottle of silicone brake lube. Take just a little bit. All you need is just a little pinch on your finger there. You don't need much. Just put a nice thin film on the caliper. Anywhere where the brake pad is going to touch this, that's where you want to lube. Okay, once this is done, then you can just set this to the side until we're ready to reassemble it. Next thing we're going to do is tackle taking the rotor off. This is an actual captured rotor. It has wheel bearings front and rear on this rotor. First thing you want to do is pop off this little dust cover. It's pretty easy. Sometimes it can give you a problem, but just use a straight or a flathead screwdriver and a little hammer and it should come right off. Once you get it in there, just kind of work your way around and it, it'll come off. And try not to stab yourself. Next thing after we get that off, there's a cotter pin in here. You're going to have to remove that. It's easier if you got a pair of dikes here.
And all these little pieces that we're putting off, it's really easy if you just put them all in that dust cover so you don't lose them. Next, there's a little keeper on there. Then after that, there's a nut, which is most of the time finger tight. They really don't need to be on there that tight. Kind of keep a hold on the rotor when you're taking this off because sometimes that'll just slide right off like that. You don't want that bearing to fall out and break. Also, there's going to be a washer on there. After you take that off, kind of pull the rotor out a little bit and that outer bearing will fall right out into your hand. I'm going to show you guys a trick how to get this back bearing out. First, I'm going to pull out the rotor and show you the back bearing inside there. There's an actual grease seal in there too. It's really kind of a pain to get out, but I'm gonna show you an easy trick to get that off. The actual seal and the bearing will come out with it. You wanna put the rotor back up on the spindle. You wanna put that nut back on there. Probably thread it about three, four, five times. Grab the rotor bring it right up to that nut you'll feel it touch the back of that bearing in the seal you just give it one good burst and it'll pull that bearing and seal right out